I will show you how to solve this adorable Sudoku by Yoshi Broshi and reveal the surprising story behind its creation. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Notice these two eights right here. It means there's only one place to put an eight in block three. And then if you come down to this cell right here, what can it be? Well, it cannot be a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This is a naked single one, so we can fill that in. Greetings, friend. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe, tap the bell for notifications. You want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. Today, we're solving a Yoshi Baroshi puzzle from Logic Masters India. Solve with me to the end to hear the meaning of the puzzle name and the adorable story behind it that you are going to love. Now, what else can we do with these ones? With these two ones right here, and the one we just saw, we can solve for a one now in block four. And now with these two ones and this one, we can solve for one in block nine. And then in, we can look and see that the ones cannot be in these two cells because of these two ones in row one. It can't be here because of this one. So this is a hidden single one in row one. All right, look at the fours. You got this four cutting across this row, but you can also see that the fours cannot be in these two cells. So the only place for four in row one is right there. Now come down column four here. Where can a five go? It can't be here because of this five, and it can't be here because of this five. So we can solve for a five here in block eight. And with these two fives, now we can solve the five in block seven. And you'll notice we don't have a five in row one. It can only go right there. And this is going to leave us with a three in the corner. Awesome job. And now we can look down here and go, I just need a two and a six. Got my two right there. So here's your six, and here is your two. You may be able to improve your Sudoku skills faster than you think. Click on the pinned comment to join the Smarty Party. I'll send you exclusive monthly puzzle packs, other content to give you more ways to solve fun Sudoku and hard challenging Sudoku. Yoshi Broshi created my first ever rewards puzzle pack. It was so much fun. And you want to have fun solving Sudoku, right? Now look what you can do with these twos. With this two and this two, we can solve for two in block seven. And with these two, solve for two in block nine. And with these twos and this two, can solve for two in block three. Now we can also do it in block five because you have twos here and twos there. When you have four of a digit looking into a block, you can solve a certain. There's only gonna be one cell remaining that you can put it in. And now it's time for my neat naked triple trick. Look here in column nine. We have three cells remaining. We need to solve for a four, a six, and a seven. Whenever you have two of the three cell and it's looking into one of these cells. And so in this case, the six and seven look right here. And then one of those is repeated looking into another cell. The seven is right there. We can solve all three. We know this has to be your four. The only place the seven goes right there. And this is going to be your six. Okay. And now if we look over here across row three, you see you have a six here. And this six, we can solve for six in block one and with this one we can solve for one in block one and this one and this one we can solve for one in block three and we've taken care of all of the ones now i can show you another neat trick up here we can solve this four and the five right so you got the four right there so that's got to be your four and this is going to be your five share this puzzle with someone you know who loves sudoku make sure to tell them the story behind it which i'm about to reveal I'm down here to block nine. Where can the seven go? Well, this seven and this seven, we can solve for seven right here. And now with this four, we can solve for a four in block nine. And then if you look over here in block seven, we can do some more solving. You have this four, eight, and a nine right here. Well, I got a four to nine right there, so that's gotta be an eight. And you might think, Timberlake, I can't solve this four or nine, but we can. Because where does a nine go in block one? Well, it's got to be in one of these two cells along with a seven. Since a nine is in one of these two cells, this is a pointing pair. It means a nine cannot be anywhere else along column two outside of block one. Because if that's the case, you wouldn't be able to put a nine 
in that block. And so we know this cell can't be the nine. The nine's got to go right here, which allows us to solve this cell for a four. Okay, look in block four. We just need a four and a five. I got a five right there. So here's your five and there is your four. And now it's time for another neat naked triple trick. Okay, let's look in here in column four. We have a one, two, four, five, eight, nine. We need a three, six, and a seven. Well, I got my six, seven right here and I got my seven repeated. We can solve all three. This has to be your three. Only place a seven goes right there and this is gonna be your six. Learn more about this and some other tricks in this tutorial. Okay, can we finish block two? Let's look, we got a five here in this five. We can put a five right there. And now what we need is a three, seven, and a nine. Okay, so first of all, let's look. We got the three cutting across here. So three's gotta be in one of these cells. Can't go in that spot. You have this three, so that's gonna be your three right there. Okay, let's move on and see what else we can solve. We have right here a three and a six. I got my six right there, so we can solve for the six here and the three there. And with these two threes, now we can actually solve for the three right there. We have another full house across row seven. The only digit remaining is an eight. We can solve that. And then what we have left is a four and a seven. Okay, let's look now here in row five we have a one two three four six seven we need a five eight and a nine well i got my five and eight right here this has to be your nine and then the five repeated was going to give us an eight here and a five right there and after doing that now we just need a four which goes in this cell and a six to finish up block five and with these two sixes and this six, we can solve for a six here and solve for a three to finish column seven. And with these two threes, we have a three here and an eight right there. It means this has to be your eight. That's gonna be your nine. With this four, I said there's a four, seven down here. So there's your four, there's your seven. I don't see a seven there. That's gotta be your seven and your nine. And we need a nine, seven here. So there's your nine and last digit is a seven. I promise you, I tell you the story behind this adorable puzzle. Yoshi did give me permission to share this with you. He made this puzzle a couple months ago while I was thinking about a girl I really liked. He even put a secret reference in this puzzle about it. The name of the puzzle, Nothing is as Casual It Seems, referred to the type of relationship he wanted to have with her. Well, the relationship has gone past the casual stage because a few days after publishing this puzzle on Logic Masters Energy, India, Yoshi and the girl got engaged. Congratulations on your engagement, Yoshi, and thank you for letting me share this puzzle and love story with my viewers. Now see if you can spot the secret strategies in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.